This is the moment. This is the moment I've been so anxious about. I finally got the motorcycle packed and I'll go over what I pack later because right now I've just got the plates on it. I just want to go drive it with all the stuff on it. I'm gonna say goodbye to my family. I'm gonna say goodbye to Champ. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless. So I haven't even left the city actually, uh, but uh, the pack is the pack is there. I think I'm gonna stop by and get some more bungee cords because not super stable. I'm here with Jen. She just got her first van, and we're gonna go tour it. I'm excited. Holy crap! Twinning. Holy shit! This is my van. This is my van. Where did you find this? Really? Yeah, they, they've been had it for sale for a while and they know, knew I wanted to buy it. So, um, yeah. Oh, you have the AC. You're like my van's nicer, bigger brother. <laughs> Maybe it's a 95. Ooh, so, newer too. I know. Very I like plush. It. I mean, it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Uh, that's well, why I mean a you. white van always looks bad. <laughs> like any kind of rust or dent on it will show, show up so fast. Yeah. So they never look that great. Yeah. Unfortunately, but probably you have the Magnum, which is nice. So Even you have multi-point injection. Even Ooh, it's got a screen on it too. Look at that. Yeah. The, the similarities are uncanny. Is that right? Oh my God! Look at this. It's got. That's the first one I've seen. It's the first one I've seen without the yours bubble had, windows. Had, yours had, yours There's no window there. there. I'm the only one I've seen that has that, and yours too now. That's yeah. crazy. Travel home. That's the exact name of mine. I know. Well, is it bigger than yours? Yeah, definitely. Oh wow, it's like staring in a mirror. <laughs> Look at that, same, same, same. There's that bed. I don't have the, they took the bath, the toilet out. You have the single chair. door in the back, which is nice. nice. It's got the double sink, which is nice. And it doesn't have, um, yours is a stove, isn't it? Stove there, up top, which yours is a stove as well. Yeah, two okay, burner. two burner. Don't you your have furnace your, is down here, your, and your fridge on, is on this side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because most of my closet over here. Yeah, see, and this and is a good is... size fridge, too. Wow, I this is, yeah, it's a is bit it bigger same, than mine. Same as yours? Or... I think it's a bit bigger. Yeah. I think it's a Maybe just size. one size up. Still, it's so cool. I know. I have a, um... You can look at a composting toilet, maybe. That's what I want to get, yeah. Yeah, those... Like, or something. like elastic storage along here. Right. To hold you up, like, something. all your quick access stuff. Right. I also bolted, like, an extra like shelf, shelf here and other stuff. Right. It's a lot of extra storage, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, now that I'm on my own, it's not really useful anymore. And right. I keep it full of books I wouldn't bring with me anyway, but... Yeah. When we're, um, up there, but... Oh, you've got the rear pod lights, too. Yeah. It's got some good features. I think that air ride's going to save you big time. Okay. For, uh, you might not have to redo the rear suspension if you got the air ride. Okay. And then, I don't know if you'll get away with, you'll, the, those tires have a lot of tread still on them, so you try them out. Okay. But it's about, it's about $1,100 to replace a set of Class E tires. Okay. Um, that's all for fall four, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you're not, you don't have you to do it, but. Yeah, you can definitely put solar. And honestly, my clearance has never been really that close. Oh, okay. Like, they, they tend to build stuff so a transport truck can go through it. So you still have two, three feet above yeah. where you're at. Yeah. It's just a matter of, like, what solar panel is going to work out there. Do you ever stay in RV parks? Have you, did you guys ever do that? Um, I stayed in, like, two campsites the whole time. Yeah. I went I two nights, I that's it.
50 kilometers into uh, into the road trip. Day one. Oh wow, I am learning some things. Holy crap. First of all, this thing can go highway speeds, but I'm not doing that. It is scary because it's so light, you know, it just gets thrown all over the highway. Secondly, my situation with the backpack, not so great. Not so great. I gotta wear it now and one of these support straps is missing. I don't know where the hell it went. Anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna wear it for today and I'm, my back's gonna kill me, but but it's stuff like this. Like, check this out, man. Like, I just, I see something, I just go for it. Off-road? No problem. Sure, check this out! I don't. Uh, city driving sucks, even like later at night. I The freaking app I'm using needs updating because it, it's driving me through all kinds of garbage and, and the wrong way all the time. Um, the motorcycle does really well at like 90 kilometers an hour. Over 90 kilometers an hour the motorcycle starts to uh, be a little bit flimsy on the road so if a big gust of wind hits you it's hard to stabilize and uh, I don't know if that's like all motorcycles, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably because mine's so light. Uh, it just felt like I was like clocking the miles, especially at the end. It, the stupid app took me right through the downtown Montreal in the middle of rush hour. And like my GoPro batteries died. And I was just exhausted and it just kept like bringing me into construction and dead ends and yeah. So I need to fix that. I need to get in. Uh, Trying to find an app that does good offline maps, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. So I want to see if I can get something that like sips the data so that I can keep it because I only have one gig for this whole month. So learning lots, learning lots. I'm here at my uh, couch surfing. This is my first time ever couch surfing. My hosts are really nice and they've even made me dinner. So that's amazing. I brought them a bottle of wine and I'm going to chill out. And... Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. My hosts tonight are naturalists, which I had to Google. Um, it's kind of like a nudist. So I'm going to eat dinner naked with a bunch of strangers. Day one of the trip. Good night. <laughs> 